David Mangesi Diop was born on July 9, 1927 in Bordeaux, France to a Cameroonian mother and a Sigalist father. Diop started writing poems while he was still in school and his poems started appearing in Presence African since he was just 15. Diop lived his life transitioning constantly between France and West Africa from childhood onwards. While in Paris, Diop became a prominent figure in the Gertrude literature. Although he grew up in France and lived most of his life there, Diop spent significant time living and teaching in Africa, which helped reinforce his opposition to European society. Basically, what I liked about him is the fact that he never forgets his people and his country. His work is seen as a condemnation of colonialism and detest towards colonial rule. Like many literature authors of the time, Diop hoped for an independent Africa. Diop's works and Cos de Pilon, his only surviving collection, are angry poems of protest against European cultural values, enumerating the sufferings of his people first under the slave trade and then under the domination of cultural rule and calling for revolution to lead to a glorious future for Africa. That he was the most extreme of the Negritude writers can be seen in his rejection of the idea that any good could have come to Africa through the colonial colonial experience and in his belief that political freedom must precede a cultural and economic revival. He wrote during the period when the struggle for independence in many African countries was at its height. In all his writings, he talks about the unjust treatment given to Africans by the colonial masters and his hope that one day, Africa would be free from their rule. David Diop's poem, Africa My Africa, reflects his hope for an independent African nation and the problems brought to the continent by the colonialism. Africa My Africa Africa of proud warriors in the ancestral savannas. Africa of whom my grandmother sings on the banks of the distant river. I have never known you, but your blood flows in my veins. Your beautiful black blood that irrigates the fields. The blood of your sweat, the sweat of your work, the work of your slavery, the slavery of your children. Africa, tell me Africa, is this you, this back that is bent? This back that breaks under the weight of humiliation? This back trembling with red scars and saying yes to the whip under the midday sun? But a great voice answers me, and pity you, son, that tree young and strong, that tree there, in splendid loneliness amidst white and faded flowers. That is Africa, your Africa, that grows again patiently, obstinately, and its fruit gradually acquires the bitter taste of liberty. Africa My Africa paints a complete picture of Africa, including its pre-colonial glory and colonial suffering as the nation traversed a difficult journey through time and evolution. The poem expresses a hope, a hope for post-colonial Africa that can spring beautifully like a flower after finally being freed from the heavy, corroded chains of oppression. Diop regularly contributed to the negative literary movement. His poems are considered a piece of protest against the oppressive French colonial rule. He supported African liberation movements and had empathy for all his fellow brothers and sisters fighting for freedom. His emotions related to the freedom and independence of Africa are what he explores in this poem. Freedom versus slavery, patriotism, and the dark side of human nature are the major themes of the poem. The poem exhibits the writer's love for his dear country, Africa. He recalls once this place had an average lifespan which the colonizers corroded. With their arrival in the state, Africa lost its originality. Africans were treated like animals. Their land was taken and so were their lives. In this poem, Diop addresses Africa as a human being as he calls out to the nation's past, present, and future. He does so with a voice that is filled with longing and nostalgia. 
Diop was born to French West African parents and this poem contains that sense of bonding and emotion Diop had felt his entire life towards the African soil. The history of Africa flows through his blood. Even though he had been born in France and lived most of his life there, the land remained close to his identity and his being. That is specifically what he tries to express in the poem through his poetic persona. The torture inflicted upon his ancestors by the colonizers is described through the haunting imagery of slavery. Despite the presence of brutal realities, there is hope at the end of the poem like a light the speaker sees at the end of a dark tunnel with a metaphor of a young tree. He expresses a belief that Africa will grow again and taste the glory of bittersweet freedom. He believes that the colonizers will give up one day and the colonized will rise to gain independence and finally establish themselves as culturally conscious, confident citizens of a free nation. Diop emphasizes the problems of Africa that were brought about by colonialism and shares a message to Africans to bring about change and freedom through his poem, Africa My Africa. I saw our national hero Dr. Jose Rizal in him who led the Filipinos to start a revolution against the Spanish government to attain freedom and to gain control of the country. Through that, other Filipinos were motivated to get that freedom. Dr. Jose Rizal is not only admired for possessing intellectual brilliance but also for taking a stand and resisting the Spanish colonial government. While his death sparked a revolution to overthrow the tyranny, Rizal will always be remembered for his compassion towards the Filipino people and the country. Most of his writings, both in his essays and editorials, centered on individual rights and freedom, specifically for the Filipino people. What I learned from Deop and Rizal is that fighting for our freedom and what is right are not just achieved through guns or swords, but Writing a literary poem or novel can already have an impact and can make a difference for all of us.